Gentlemen, I am back, and today I am going to give you uh, my predictions video for WWE Backlash 2022. Um, just like last year, I'm not going to call it WrestleMania Backlash. Hold on, Let, let's move this a little bit because I, I don't mean y'all can see me. I mean, yeah, but you know. Um, anyways. Yeah, like I said, I'm not going to call it WrestleMania Backlash because... Backlash should be its own separate pay-per-view. And um, I'm sorry if I haven't been posting for like the past few days now. It's just that we have been really, really busy for like the past few days. And um, I mean, I'm still going to be posting stuff. Um, I'm still going to do the um, What's Wrong with the Nickelodeon sitcoms videos. I mean, video. Because, um... <laughs> There was like a lot of bad sitcoms in Nickelodeon, but that's for like a later a later day. Actually, the only sitcom that you handle right now that I actually like is Young Dylan. Everything else, uh, not that yet. But we're not talking about Nickelodeon sitcoms. That's for another video. Um, today we're gonna be talking about Batlash, and. For right now, there is only one title match, and that is Wanda Rousey versus Charlotte Flair. So, I'm gonna save that match in the very end of this video. Um, we did have a championship contenders match. You know what? No, that ain't how that. It should be your number one contenders match because that's what they are. Um. Matches that a WWE superstar should own. And in case you're wondering, no, I'm not gonna censor my shit. But I'm not gonna censor myself because um, WWE has made new worlds of specific worlds that should be banned. Well, guess what? This is my channel. I'm not from the WWE. I can say whatever I want. And, um, yeah, this is my channel. So, I'm not gonna censor myself, even though that there are new worlds. Seriously, you're censoring the world diva. You have a title belt that is based off of the world divas. But, anyways, yeah, they're, they're banning worlds now. I'm going to be talking about more of that in the very end as well. Anyways, um, let's begin. So the first match that I'm going to be talking about is Matty Hat Moss versus Bell and Hogan. Um, who do I want to win this match? My money's on... Mm, that's a tough one. Uh, I would have to say... Maddie Hat Moss because um, I'm pretty sure WWE wants to push him, like put him over a little bit. Ha ha! I said the two worlds got a band, push and over. Ha ha ha! Yeah. Anyways, I'm pretty sure they want to push um, Matty Hat Moss over. I don't think he's going to be championship material. Um, he might go after the 24-7 championship if the titles merge. I mean, if the brands merge. But, um, yeah, that's all I can think of with Matt Yap Moss. I, I don't think he's going to be a major WWE superstar. So, yeah, Matt Yap Moss. Um, the next match is going to be... Um, I'm pretty sure they're going to add a 24-7 match or either a women's tag team match because, um, on Monday Night Raw, we had Piper Evans talking to, um, Nikki Cross and she said, are you ready to take this seriously? 
which means that they're going to be in a tag team, and um, that um, they might go after the tag team championships. So, we're getting another random tag team. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyways, back to the matches. Um, let's start with Omos versus Bobby Lashley. I'm pretty sure Omos is going to win. Um, I'm predicting that Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander might interfere. And if they do, then I'm pretty sure that they might beat up MVP. And um, if that's a possibility, then Omos might probably betray MVP. And probably team up with Bobby Lashley. That might be a possibility. Um, next match. AJ Styles versus Edge. A rematch. In my opinion, this match should be a no holds barred match. Um, because um, this, this storyline has been very, very good. I actually like Edge's new entrance, which is him sitting on a throne, and that they show like fire in the background while Edge is sitting the, in the throne, and it looks really awesome. Um, I can't believe they released Dexter Loomis, because um, if Dexter Loomis should have been in um, Monday Night Raw, then having Edge, Damian Priest, and that's still Loomis as an amazing stable. But no, that's not going to happen. But who do I want to win? Edge. And I'm pretty sure after he's done with AJ Styles, he's going to go after the Undisputed Championship. Um, next match. Let's see. Yeah, that was like... Very, oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, there's like a little bit of matches in this match card. Um, let's see, who who else is going to fight? Oh, Ezekiel versus Kevin Owens. Um, the reason why I want that, the reason why I want this match to happen, because, um, it has been a very interesting storyline with Ezekiel and um, Kevin Owens. Because Kevin Owens thinks I'm telling Ezekiel that um, he's not Ezekiel, he's Elias. And um, that's kind of an interesting storyline. But to be honest, who do I want to win this match? Uh, it, it's definitely going to be Ezekiel. Because, um, I'm pretty sure they want this unit to go on for, like, a little bit longer. And, um, if that's the case, then I'm pretty sure that Elias might get a push. I don't think he's going to go after the Undisputed Championship. I'm pretty sure he's going to go after the um, United States Championship. Which, in my opinion, is a very good idea. And the next match is another rematch. Which is um, Cody Rhodes versus Seth Rollins. Now this match, this match is going to be amazing. Um, to be honest... I want, I want this match to be a steel cage match. This match should be a steel cage match. And um, if they want to end this storyline with Cody and Seth, which I'm pretty sure we're going to do so in Ivo SummerSlam, because I'm predicting that Cody and Seth might be in Money in the Bank. If they want to end this, it should be end in SummerSlam. And um, the match that I would choose for this match, 
uh, the match that I would choose for this storyline to end in SummerSlam should be a three stages of hell match. Because both Seth and Cody have been very amazing in, um, in the storyline and the match that they have at WrestleMania. All right, who's next? Um, we're having a six-man tag team match with Drew McIntyre and Randy Orton, Riddle versus the Bloodline, which is Roman Reigns, Jimmy, and Jay Uso. Yeah, the Usos and Roman are going to win this match. So anyways, this was originally supposed to be a undisputed championship match. I mean, a title unification match, which is going to be all hey bro versus um, the Usos for both the SmackDown and World Championships. But they changed their mind, so it's not going to be a title unification match. It's just going to be a six-man title match. Because um, I'm pretty sure, actually I've been hearing rumors about this um, these past few days now. I'm pretty sure that Roman Reigns is going to defend his title with um, Drew McIntyre at a, a event that's happening in... The United Kingdom. I've been hearing rumors about that. But I'm predicting that most of Roman Reigns' title matches are going to be in stadiums because I've been hearing that WWE wants to do more stadium shows. Oh, speaking of which, um, I heard a rumor today that the um, Royal Rumble is going to be in the Alamo Dome at San Antonio, Texas. And I'm I'm so excited for that that I'm so excited about that. Anyways, um, pretty sure they want to save this title match at Money in the Bank or SummerSlam or Survival Series. Oh, it's definitely going to be in Money in the Bank. Anyways, back to the match. Um, who I want to win? Easy. Roman Reigns and beat Usos. And. If they're going to unify the tag, tag team titles, the Usos are going to win um, later on this year, which is going to be in the next pay-per-view, which is Money in the Bank. And we're getting a, the only title match that's happening in this event, guys. I'm not even joking. We're getting one title match in a pay-per-view. Um... This kind of feels like a universe mode pay-per-view or a universe mode lineup that you see in WWE 2K video games. This this feels like a universe called and yeah, it kind of feels like that way. I'm, I'm not saying that it's a bad thing, but if you're having a pay-per-view, in my opinion, all titles. Wait, no, not all. Um, all the titles, well, some, some or all titles should be mostly on the line. Because um, if you're only using one title in your pay-per-view event, it's not going to feel like a pay-per-view at all. It's just going to feel like Another episode of Wild Smackdown. I'm pretty sure that's how most people have seen Backlash this year. Anyways, who I want to win? That's easy. Wanda Rousey. Because, um, it might be a possibility that, that Shayna Baszler might interfere. And, um, if that's the case, then. She would either help Wanda, or she would team up with Charlotte 
to beat up Wanda. That might be a possibility because both Shaw, but not Shaw, um, both Wanda Wowsey and Shayna Baszler have been in the UFC, and they have been in the as we know, not the UFC, um, MMA wrestling. Miss Martial Arts, yeah. Is it UFC or MMA? Pretty sure one of them. Um, anyways, Wanda Rousey's going to win. She's going to be the new SmackDown Championship. I mean, <laughs> SmackDown Champion. And yeah, that's all for the pay-per-view event. Yes. <laughs> this, this is going to be an interesting one. I'm not going to lie. But I'm still going to have some fun. That's all that matters. I'm still going to have some fun. Anyways, um, yeah, I've been hearing things about Vince, I mean, the WWE, um, censoring worlds, um, which in my opinion is a dumb idea. I'm pretty sure they shouldn't be, be doing that because, um, yeah, it's kind of world while they're doing that. Anyways, um, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, next video I'm going to do is going to be the what has happened to Nickelodeon sitcoms or what it, what is wrong with Nickelodeon sitcoms. Anyways, always be a champion. And I'm out.